starting with the beautiful Kayla Yule. Can we just get it? We get, can you turn in this outfit? Look how beautiful does she look? My goodness. And next up, the gorgeous Candace King. Yes, ma'am. Hey, leather trousers, looking gorgeous. And last but certainly not least, please welcome Michael Trevino. <laughs> Woo! Also looking gorgeous. Always. Always. That's it. Sorry, guys. Daniel's there tomorrow. He's here tomorrow. <laughs> He's a bit busy. We are so excited to have you guys here. Give it up one more time for your cast of Vampire Diaries. Hey guys. Kayla, Candace, and Michael. Thanks for having me. I know you guys out. are so excited for this one. I'll start with you, Michael. How has Comic Con been for you today so far? The Comic Con has been great. Yeah, yeah. A bit loud though. So they have our. It's not a bad thing. Not a bad thing. But uh, a lot of music happening near the yes. uh, green room. You know, it's, it's a bit constant. Yes. A bit constant, but it's good to keep the uh, energy flowing and going. Yes. There's so many different things to see here. We've had wrestling going on over here. So. Yeah. Is this a whole nother area? This a whole nother. Uh, yeah. Cor corridor, I guess. Who's wrestling? Yeah, what's wrestling? It is uh, over the top, OTT wrestling out of Northern yeah. Ireland, right over here. Uh, yeah, they've been doing a great job. Wow. But Damn. now they've, they've paused so we can talk to you, lovely. Well, thank well, you. That's very nice. Of very them. kind. <laughs> thank you. And Candace, how has today been for you? It's been wonderful. Uh, it is so great to be here. Everyone couldn't be kinder. And, um, and, and so many people, it's their first time. Who's the first time at Comic Con? Wow. Yes. That's nice amazing. Showing. Love to see that. I think this has been such a wonderful time because you guys have all been so kind. Everyone that's come up to the table has been the nicest person. So thank you guys so much for making our experience here just as fun. Yes. That deserves a round of applause. I heard a little bit over there. We'll go with it. Uh, I'm going to ask a few questions myself then. Say hello to Dave, everybody. Hi, Dave. Hi, Hi Dave. Dave. So over me at this point. Uh, Dave is your new best friend because he has the microphone. So in a bit, you will get to ask some questions to our lovely cast here. But Michael, I'll start with you. So being a fan of Vampire Diaries, uh, you know, there are so many different iterations of vampires. Be it Twilight, Interview with the Vampire, one of my favorites. Uh, before joining the cast, was that something that you had a passion for? Uh, of the genre. Um... Gosh, was I a fan? I, I, you know, it, yeah, there's something interesting, right? Because there's so many people that are just so infatuated with the genre of vampires and werewolves and witches and everything. For me, I don't know. Like, I think Interview with the Vampire was probably something that I grew up with or saw that I was a fan of. But I didn't get in on, I didn't get in on any True Blood or Twilight uh, series. But you read all the books. You read the Vampire Diaries no, no, book. No, 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 no. I read... The first book. The first one, still. I'm in the first After page. I booked okay. the job. After. <laughs> oh, that was research. A little bit of research, and I wanted to be prepared. And then I was told while I was on the flight to go shoot the pilot that we were not doing anything from the book. We were going to do our own thing. So I was wasting my time. Just an overachiever. Just try, trying Just too hard. Just making us all look bad. Doing the most, Trevino, yes. yes. That's your homework. Well done. How about you, Candace? Um, I watched uh, scary movies. I mean, the full circle experience was growing up on Scream and I Know What You Did Last Summer. And, you know, and that's obviously within the Kevin Williamson world who, for Vampire Diaries, it was a very big deal to be able to work with him. Um, my first kind of, the, what I watched was Buffy the Vampire Slayer, the movie. The oh, movie. Christy Swanson. Yes, yes. the Christy Swanson movie. Yes, which also features Ben Affleck as base basketball player number three or something. So, serious? Breakout role for Ben Affleck. Really? Yeah. Fun fact. Fun I didn't know fact. that. You'll learn something new every day. Yeah. And now he's married to J-Lo. That's how it happens. <laughs> he's doing all right for himself. Yeah. I was going to say Buffy the Vampire Slayer, too. Loved it, but the TV show. Yeah. So, I loved Sarah Michelle. It, clearly, a lot of you, too. That was my first you know, kind of idea that, ooh, vampires are sexy, vampires are cool. Van and then obviously when the Vampire Diaries came out, it was something that everyone wanted to be a part of because Twilight was so huge too. And um, yeah, there's something really fun about playing a vampire. Yeah, and there's something sexy about it, for sure. Uh, speaking of sexy, James Marsters is here. And we have a lot of Buffy the Vampire fans. Have you had a chance to interact with him? 
Not yet, but now I will. Maybe I'll make my way over to his table. It's, it's a really cool crossover. But speaking of guests that we've had here, um, we have people from uh, you know, so many different genres. Have you had fun interacting with the other actors? You go ahead, Kayla. Oh, me, yes, of course. I mean, to, to, I'm a little biased. I kind of like the Vampire Diaries actors the best. And we also haven't really been able to hang out in a, in a while. So we've kind of had our own little crew back there just hanging out and catching up. And it's been lovely. Yeah. I think what's, so, what's been really fascinating coming to conventions over the years is also hearing from a lot of people that we're fortunate enough to meet, uh, like you guys, that you have friends that you've met through conventions and you come to be with each other and also you know, do all the fun things. So that's kind of what it feels like um, in the green room in a way. It's just we're all just milling about, kind of like hovering over snacks and getting to know each other and then kind of meeting again and again in, in a different cities all over the world, which is a really cool way to meet someone. So you guys have something figured out, the, the Comic-Con goers that go travel the world and meet up with friends all the time. It's a pretty cool thing that you do. Are, are we talking about, like, who else is here at the yeah, Comic-Con? Like, what's been going on behind the scenes, Michael? I meant, well, are there any Sons of Anarchy fans in here? Okay, it's good. It's good enough for me. But I met Boone. Yes. In, the, in the elevator, and I, I'm a big fan of that show, and I've never met any of them, so um, like you guys, I'm, I'm geeking out on the uh, Sons of Anarchy guys that are here, because I love that show. It was a great show. Boone's my new best friend. He is we your new best friend. Bus. You sat on we the bus? We sat on the bus here. I was actually jealous Besties. of that. Best. He's a smart like, man. I thought I had an open seat. I was like, ah, oh, maybe he's my buddy. I met him in the elevator. He'll sit by me. Nope. He sat next he's to Ken. He's my new best friend. Yeah, he is your best friend. I get to ride on his Harley. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Candace and Boone. Uh, well, we're, we'll get to the fan questions in just a moment. I know you guys have a lot. But final question from me. <clears throat> so have you had any chance to, uh, chances to spend in the UK? Have you seen a lot of things? I know when you're traveling and doing these Comic Cons, you don't get out to see a lot. But have you had any good UK experiences yet? Uh, last night. We had a night, great dinner. Yeah. We had a last, great dinner. Well, no, we, we uh, went the to Garrick the Bar. We went to the Garrick Bar. And what was amazing was they had live music, did they not, Candice? Yeah, traditional like, Irish, Irish music playing. And it, music was, it playing. was just like this jam band at and the it corner was a jam with band. beers and some snacks. Snacks. Just looking at each other, jamming each with other. each other. It was fantastic. It was awesome. Garrick's Bar. The Garrick Bar, yes. The Garrick and then from Bar. there, we, we made reservations. Shout and, out. They're highly sponsoring recommend. this interview. Garrick's Bar. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Kayla, have you got a chance to see anything yet? Um, I just remember flying in on the airplane and looking down and being like, oh my God, it's just, just as beautiful as I thought it was going to be. It's stunning. So thank you guys for having us here. It's been a pleasure already, and it's been already so short, but yeah. we're loving it. So thanks. It's definitely magical. And let's face it, Belfast, you know how to party. All right? Yeah, you like do. Like Belfast, for yes. sure. We have a question right here uh, from this lovely gentleman. What was your favorite scene to shoot? Favorite scene. Do you want to go this way or this way? However you um, okay, so for me, hands down, my favorite scene to shoot was when Vicky is with Damon and they're high on each other's blood and they're dancing around. Oh, that was I see good. a lot of people nodding. That was absolutely my favorite. Um, I was a huge fan of Ian's from Lost, so I remember waking up that morning knowing we were going to shoot those scenes and telling myself, wow, I'm getting paid to do this. This is pretty freaking cool, so. What just flashed in my head was when I had to like, be like, everybody just needs to stop kissing me. And I just had to like keep making out with dudes. <laughs> what, you, I, which with, with you too. What, I, you, have to I think be, you, you don't have to be so negative about it. <laughs> well, it was weird. Jeez. In a steamy, hot, and yeah, <laughs> save it. Every woman's save fantasy it. kind of way. Save it. Um, favorite scene. Favorite scene. Look, there, there, there's, there are many, but I think for me, except my buddy that asked the question, um, uh, probably any type of like fight sequence or any type of uh, werewolf transformation uh, type of scene was was fun, just because. Uh, it just allowed me to do more, I guess. And whenever those scenes were happening, there weren't scenes with dancing and uh, some type of ceremony or whatever ball is going on, because those weren't really, or costume type thing um, wasn't really my favorite. So any type of fighting scene. Was it also because you got pizza and cookies after all your transformation scenes? 
Uh, I would, yes, I would re reward myself with that after. <laughs> when the shirtless scene was done, I could eat the cookies and the pizza, yes. Well, now that you brought it up, uh -oh. these, just between friends, we'll just ask this. These saucy, steamy love scenes. First of all, how awkward is it? And secondly, again, just amongst friends, secondly, is there like preparation? Is it like a breath mint situation? Toothbrush in the pocket? I, I think what I get what Candace was saying earlier. It's not awkward, but Candace and I are actually very good friends and we get a lot of we hang out, but it is kind of like a brother-sister type of relationship. We're close and so, yeah, after a while there, I don't know. There was literally once where we, it was like the last scene and we had to like make out and be in bed together and we were both dating different people and they were waiting at dinner because we were supposed to be on a double date and we were just Correct. like, come on, let's make out really hard and fast, <laughs> as fast as possible. Yeah. We have a reservation to make. Yeah, and it was yeah. just like, what are we doing? This is so bizarre. Yes. But, but we were buddies, so I feel like uh -huh. I didn't, I wasn't too concerned about mints. No, like, no. Like, no disrespect. But and like, then later the on in the, in the later seasons. Smooch. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like, I want to make a good first impression. And then after that, I'm like, sorry, I'm going to eat some Doritos and, yeah. and a burger. All off the table. Did you yeah. guys ever try to, like, have bad breath for each other because I, no, I did, you guys I are so funny and your friendship's so great that I feel like maybe that could have happened. No, I, I, I know I didn't. And then if you <laughs> did, I never caught it. I was just, it was fine. Oh, thanks. It wasn't an act of choice. I think just more like laziness on my part. Yeah. Got it. Sure. Out of Kayla, love. Yeah. Kayla's here with the deep questions. I love it so much. We've got a question here in the middle. Hi. Um, this one it's mostly for Candace, but all of you can answer. Um, um, for Caroline's character, would you rather have Klaus, Dieter, or Stefan? <laughs> what would your answer be? Klaus. Klaus! But he was such a meanie pants. Yeah. Yeah, he's got the accent. S screw that guy. <laughs> Um, I always liked the slow burn of Caroline and Stefan, because as a TV junkie myself, I love a slow burn on a TV show. But I get it. I know a lot of, a lot of people, a lot of people like the, the Claroline, as it's called. But I, I adored working with, with both actors. So that's, I, you know, try to keep it fair. That was a very political answer. I Thank you, I very much. Best. Very You're going to anger someone, you know. <laughs> very <laughs> safe. Political talk. Very good safe. We've got a question here in the middle. Um, this is for everyone, but if you could switch characters with anyone, who would you rather be? Damon. <laughs> he had the best line. He had, like, the best, like, one, two, you know, punch of being an ass, but then being funny. So, Damon, for me. I would say Catherine. Catherine's a good one. I, yeah. I personally, like, if I, if I could choose a character that's my favorite, I love Bonnie. I think she was always so cool, and, like, I loved all of her little spells and everything. So, yeah, I guess I'd say Bonnie. Thank you. We've got more questions in the back. Thank you, Dave. Hi. I was wondering if you had a favorite costume or prop, and if you were allowed to take anything home when he's wrapped up. I took my ring. I still have my ring. And then I panic every, like, once a year, and I'm like, did I lose it? And I'm like, no, I still have that. So that's, I liked that. I didn't really take anything. All you boys were, like, stealing stuff, like, socks. I didn't take any clothes. I didn't take any clothes. I never any took clothes. any clothes. I know Zach clothes took from... a lot of clothes. The I didn't take any clothes. The only thing I took was a pair of pants, because obviously Vicky died season one, right? So then I kept having to come back and wear the same outfit over and over and over again. You don't understand, I was 23 when we first shot the first season, and then it was 10 years later, I was 33, still having to fit into the same freaking pants. You guys, these pants. So then at the end, when I wrapped, I was like, yeah, I'm taking the pants, so I still have the pants. <laughs> I think you earned them, yeah? I think you earned those pants. Got a question in the back. Uh, this is a bit of a two-parter. My first part is, were you happy with the way your character's storyline ended? No. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what advice would you give to someone wanting to be an actor in these type of TV shows in the future? 
Well, obviously, I was not happy with the way my character died so early on. That was terrible. But it was so fun to come back every time to see everyone and um, selfishly, like, just be with my friends. Um, and advice I'd give to someone who's acting is if it only join the business, if you feel like it's you cannot live without it and it's something you have to do because it's hard, hands down, super hard. Um, so go into it knowing that. And if you go in with that mindset, I think you will be successful. Um, yeah, I feel like my storyline just ended on Legacies, which is crazy after 13 years. And um, so it was really nice to kind of step back into Caroline's shoes and say goodbye for the last time. Uh, I was very happy. And then as far as advice, being acting, I just also that it's a business, you know, it's it's a job and it's it's incredible and it's you can have all the passion in the world for it but also recognizing that like it doesn't determine you know your self-worth it's like lead with your heart and i guess not with your ego which is the mantra maybe i'll put that on a coffee mug i can start drinking out of every morning but i don't know and now please start talking so then i, I think, can stop talking <laughs> um i i think for anybody that wants to get in this business you just it's like anything else i think you just want to train study and work your ass off to just be the best performer that you can be um, and just stay committed to that. So just continue to train and train because you can never stop learning or learning more. So just train. Great question. Let's give him a round of applause, by the way. Best of luck to you in your acting career. Another question right here. Hi. <laughs> um, my question is for everyone. I'm just wondering, uh, what's your favorite memory, like, on set? Like, for anybody on the cast? Like, pranks or anything? There's so many memories. Um, but my, I, I answer, well, I always say this, but I think it's, because on, on Vampire Diaries, we had so many, like, it was the A storyline, B storyline, C storyline. So we didn't always, necessarily always be in scenes together. So when we did have scenes together, I think those were my, my, favorite, most fun, because we'd always be messing around the whole time. It would take a long time to get those scenes done because we would just all be distracted, having a good time, because it would be rare that five or six of us would be in one scene together. So for me, I think my favorite memories was like actually working in scenes with everybody at the same time. Those were always, those were always fun days for me. I concur. Yes. I concur. Um, yeah, there's, there was, I mean, it, it, eight years is a very long time, and there were a lot of funny moments. There's a lot of late nights, <laughs> early mornings, I'm trying to think. Um, when we were younger in Atlanta? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think what was exactly what you're saying, uh, when we all got to be in a scene together, which was also bizarre, because on what, it was e usually either like school dances or like funerals. Like, those were the scenes. <laughs> so it was either we all had to go and feel really ridiculous because we all had to, like, learn a dance and dance in front of each other, or we all had to, like, dress in black and cry in front of each other. <laughs> so that's, that's interesting and a weird thing to do as well, a group. Well, it's a vampire show, right? So most of the scenes take place at night. So a lot of times you're up all night long with these people doing these exact same thing over and over and over again. So you get a little bit delirious and you get a little crazy. And so you kind of have these awesome moments with each other where you're delirious and crazy and everyone's laughing. And um, I think those moments are really special. And there were so many of those on this show. Who was the most fun to work with behind the scenes, like on, on the set? These two. These two are the best. They're so funny and fun. And um, I think just from the very beginning, we were all friends from the very beginning. From the moment, I, I met Candace on the airplane on the way over and we were instant friends. And then Trevino, like the next day you showed up and it was, it's just been like ever since we all were together, it's just been really fun um, offset and onset. I agree. That was very sweet to say, because it's true. It, and even lie. to this day, like, the three, like we were all very close and in each other's lives. And, um, you know, we're getting older, so it's beautiful to see everybody, you know, doing what they're doing. Uh, yeah, it's great. It definitely, definitely instant camaraderie. And um, what was also interesting is when we filmed the pilot, we filmed in Vancouver. And so there was another movie filming there at the time. I don't know. It's pretty obscure. It's called Twilight. <clears throat> I don't know. But... <laughs> 
we were all staying at the same hotel, so there was this very bizarre thing of like the Twilight crew and the Vampire Diaries crew, and then like everyone's down at the same bars, and you're just like, it, it was very interesting. So we were all immediately, I mean, we went on a road trip together during the pilot to go to like a ski mountain and had like, it, we, we were immediately bonded and that just resonated throughout the entirety of filming and even, even today. That's wild, that crossover. To think of you guys hanging out with the Twilight people. That's yeah. Unheard of. One of the, somebody from the Wolf Pack. Yeah, oh, somebody, okay. yeah, yeah. Another question here? Hi there. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> we are um, just wondering who was the least favorite to work with? Ooh. Ooh. Just between us, who do you hate? The, the crow. The crow was miserable. Really? And, and yes, and didn't make it past episode four? Because yeah. it just flew off in like a warehouse like this. <laughs> and, and we were all waiting on the crow. Being a crow diva. Crow diva, for sure. <laughs> That's a great answer. I mean, honestly, most, of the, most everyone is really fun and good. Everyone has their bad days, right? I don't think it's an, a specific individual. It would just be one person that's, like, grumpy, and everyone would be like, okay, they're going through something. Give them a break for a minute. Um, but for the most part, everyone was f really great. And I think because the show was such a huge success from the beginning, everyone all came up together, and it, it just kept being like, wow, this is so much fun every day. Did you ever work with the real wolves? Um, one time, but they were too expensive, so we stopped using them. <laughs> did you, but did you ever have to work with Stuffy? Stuffy was a uh, real wolf skin <laughs> that would be operated, but like, it was like a puppet, and you no. had to be really scared of, no, of I didn't, Stuffy. No, so but I, I, Stuffy was also someone I did not enjoy working with. Being scared at someone just like shoving a puppet of like a real wolf in my face. With, Who like, named this? creature stuffy because that's the least scary name i can think of <laughs> stuffy can we get you caroline to say seriously seriously no <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> love it we've got more questions uh thank you dave <laughs> what was actually in the blood bags that you drank from that's a good question there were so many different iterations. One, one, in the beginning, I can speak for the beginning, when Vicky turned into a vampire and all of that, it was like um, half like Hershey's chocolate and half water, and it was just extremely sweet. And, no, it was. It was like that liquid Hershey's chocolate, and it was so sweet, and you have to hold it in your mouth and hold it and hold it until it's supposed to come out, and it was, I mean, you would think chocolate would be amazing to have. It was, it was terrible. It was horrible. Oh, so then we that. went through a phase of, um, you know those like smoothie drinks? Like the naked acai juice? Bowls? Yes, it's like an acai, like, like raspberry, you know, naked smoothie drink. That was blood for a little bit wow. that we had to drink. Um, and then there was, um, sorry, I feel like I'm like yelling. I will calm down. And then there was like syrup, like Cairo, like Cairo syrup. It's like a clear syrup that they would dye red. That was just like a sugar bomb mm. too. But I can't believe they gave you a Hershey. Yeah, yeah I don't remember <laughs> that. Season one. The, the we were, they were still business. learning. <laughs> I guess that was a for sure, yeah, season one thing. I don't. Did know. you ever drink blood? No. No, but I remember there being capsules. Oh, I never did a capsule. Yeah, there was capsules that you could just chew into and then it kind of explode in your mouth and then you're good. It was gross. Yeah, it's bad. It looked better than I tasted. What questions in the back? So, other than your own characters, whose characters' final scenes did you find the most emotional? Is the question what character we found most emotional? Yeah. Hmm. It's hard to choose. No. Hard to choose. Um. <laughs> I think it was all emotional. I, I think I block a lot of that out because I just don't like crying in front of a lot of people. I get a lot, I get very, like I'm sweaty even thinking about it. Like <laughs> no, but I remember crying. when your character cried in the funeral scene and that I really felt for when your mom died. And that, I remember that was talking sad. to you about that too. Like that, that was a really lovely moment in the show for sure. So I'll Thanks. go with that. That's my oh, answer. Yeah, Sheriff Forbes, RIP. Right. Yeah, that was very sad. RIP. I'll go with their answers. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Very sad. 
Uh. Another question here in the front. What was the funniest scene to film? I, I had a, well, no, 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 I don't want to. Just do it. No, I, I would, uh, I'm going the other way. I, uh, no, there was a certain sequences with Zach where whenever we had a fight sequence, something would always go wrong, and there'd be multiple times where he'd accidentally hit me or I would accidentally hit him. I remember one time I slipped and, like, I slipped and just completely need him right in his private parts. It was, yeah, just multiple things like that. I think uh, uh, trying to, um, you know, get the work done, but just being way too distracted. Yeah. Have you given him one? Yeah, I didn't want him. I, didn't. <laughs> I think one of the weirder ones is, uh, there was like Caroline and Stefan were, it's like I, something with the humanity off. It's all been a long time. But then we had to like kiss but we were then feeding off some girl's neck in between us, and then we had to throw her to the side and then kiss again with blood in our mouths. And so because we can't physically just throw a person on the hard ground, there was like a, a mat, like a comfort mat laid out for her. So we had to hold fake blood in our mouth, kiss, and then put our mouths on someone's neck and let the fake blood come out on her neck. And then we had to push her onto a mat and then basically make out on top of her, well, she, and that, that it just was like, this is weird, and I'm so sorry to the girl laying on the ground that we're just spitting our used blood all over her neck, and then having to make out again after that. That was one of those days where, like, how did I get here? Yeah. Like, what were the choices in my life that got me to this moment? Huh. Maybe she was a super fan, and it was the best day of her life. Let's just go with that. That would have been cool, right? I mean, everyone's into something. No judgment. Yeah. No judgment free zone. We've got questions here in the front. Hi. Um, what was your favorite season or episode to film? I really liked the series finale, the very last episode. I think it was so much fun. I loved that Vicky was able to come back and blow up the whole town. That was very fun and interesting. But I think that they did a really good job ending the, the show. And I know I've heard so many people talk about how they just cry at the end so much. So I'm going to go with that one. I think season two. This is a whole... I, it, Carol, Caroline transforming into a vampire was very fun. And, uh, yeah. When you, I, uh, you said season two? I like season two as well. Season two, I think, really started Tyler's journey. There was a lot more happening for him than in season one, so probably that one. And it, it, would, ha it would for sure have to be that first werewolf transformation uh, that happened during the scene. So prob probably that for me was my favorite one. Yeah. Got a question all the way in the back. Hi, so I was wondering, um, what or who inspired you to start acting? I always loved uh, Julia Roberts growing up. She's like one of my favorites, still is. Um, so I think watching her movies growing up, I thought like, oh, that seems like such a fun job. And living in LA, it did seem quite easy. I'm from Los Angeles, born and raised. So luckily I was able to just kind of fall into it and stay there, which was great. But I'm always, I'm a huge fan of her. Uh, I had originally moved to LA for music funny enough, in, in a past life, and uh, at the time I was around 16, and a lot of the people I met who were my age uh, happened to be young actors in LA, and they were on TV shows, so my first experience on a set was just going to visit friends that I had met, and I knew that there was something so special about that, like the family that is created on a, on a TV set or a movie set. And a few years later, um, I found myself auditioning and, and working, and I just fell in love. So it kind of, uh, I got bitten by the bug a little bit later, and, uh, and then just, I just couldn't quit. Maybe now, but <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Uh, oh, what was, um, who, in, yeah. uh, who inspired you? Who inspired oh, who, you? Who inspired me to get into the business? So the people that I met that I visited on set inspired me. God, That's God, my God. full complete Oh, answer. well then, uh, similar to, to Kayla, because I also grew up in Los Angeles. I think uh, I'd always go to the... I grew up going to the movies with my dad almost every weekend, and we'd see like two or three movies. 
And I was always wondering, like, as a young kid, like, where are they making these movies or these television shows? And growing up in L.A., it was like, oh, it's just right over there. So for me, in the same way, it felt attainable. It felt like, oh, it's, it's, it's right there. It's nearby. If I could just find a way to get in there some way, somehow, I could maybe do what I'm seeing and enjoying on a screen. And um, so it just felt like it could become more of a reality growing up in Los Angeles. So I think that's kind of what started my interest in it. But it's, it wasn't a specific actor or actress at the time. I think, I think knowing I was just close to how they were doing it, where they were doing it, I was like, I got to find a way to make that happen for me. Got a question uh, in the back. Thank you. Hi. So my question is mostly for Michael and Candace. I was wondering, was there any point in the earlier seasons that you thought your character was going to be written off for good? And for Kila, did you think there was any chance you were going to come back? Uh, in the earlier seasons, n uh, no. I, look, I'll be honest. There were a couple times where I may have gotten in trouble at work. And so I thought maybe that was going to be a reason why I was maybe going to get written off out of nowhere. What'd you do? Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm not going to talk about that. But, um, um, uh, but luckily, I kind of stayed on as long as I did. So that, that would be the only thing. It wasn't even storyline-wise. I was just going through a little something. So I thought, oh, man, I'm, I might be written off here. But luckily, I stayed. Yeah, I, I was told many times that I was the greenest of the bunch, which means that when you're, you know, when you're in a room with someone in there telling you, hey, we're very aware that you're the least experienced one out of everyone here. It makes you go, uh-oh, <laughs> oops. <laughs> My imposter syndrome <laughs> is really showing now. Um, and when they decided to turn Caroline into a vampire, that was basically every female that they had turned into a vampire, they had killed off the show. Among, and others as well. Right so here. <laughs> it was very scary. And they, they were, you know, open about the fact, we're going to see how this goes. And, um, and, then I, I, and then Caroline started eating bunnies and being this little, like, sunshine to Stefan's, like, shadow. And I think it kind of, I don't know. It, but, I, yeah, I, I held my breath for I never bought a place in Atlanta. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> My parents Neither. always told me, honey, you will be killed off at any moment, so don't invest. And I was like, got it. I'm just going to hold my breath for eight years. <laughs> I just sighed for the first time. The question is, did I ever think my character would come back originally when they killed me? No, of course not. They were like, bye, see you. And I was so sad. Um, and then obviously every time they called, they bringing me back, bringing me back, bringing me back. And it was so fun. And I felt so lucky because I was able to be in LA and do my thing and then come back to Atlanta, see all my friends, work on the show, have some fun, go back and forth, back and forth. So uh, originally, no. And then obviously the more it kept happening, yes. <laughs> Great question. We have time for probably two more questions. We've got one in the back here. If you could pick Stefan or Damon, who would you pick? <laughs> oh. Damon. Damon. <laughs> Say it in unison. Stefan. No. Stefan. No. I have to. It's the Caroline loyalty. Yeah. Definitely Damon. Um, I'm wondering what was your favorite location or set that you filmed in? I would say Covington, just Covington, the, the Covington Square with the clock tower, and now the restaurant that's turned into Mystic Falls. It's so lovely, and I remember the first time we did it, um, Vicky's hanging off of a building with Stefan and Damon, and I remember looking down at night and being like, this is truly such a beautiful place. And um, now, obviously, it's turned into a Vampire Diaries, you know, um, I don't know, in memoriam. <laughs> And um, it's so lovely that you can visit it. But that, for me, was the most fun. Evander Holyfield's house. <laughs> and I don't know if, for anyone that knows, I mean, there was wrestling. This, is bo this was boxing, so this is different. But there's a very famous, uh, very famous athlete in the States. And got his ear chewed off. He got his ear chewed off by Mike Tyson. And uh, we were... It, in the green, yeah, we filmed a whole bunch in that house, and it was just very interesting on a Vander Holyfield way. Now Rick Ross owns that house. Really? Oh, it looks nice. 
Oh, it's really nice. Yeah, we he, used the ballroom. He put some money into it. Just to give you guys an idea. Rick like Ross the, the balls. <laughs> that's amazing. Yeah. But we used the ball, like he just had a ballroom. Yeah. Not, not like a pool house, but an actual like ballroom. He had a bowling space. alley. He had a bowling alley in there yeah. too. What was your favorite? I, I Probably Covington. I think Covington was really nice because I think early on when the show started, we would... Like, we were out in Atlanta, Georgia, so we weren't in a, like, major coastal city. And I think whenever we were out in Covington, fans would be there. And fans would be, like, around and wanting to see. And that was such an interesting feeling to be filming the show and then having fans on set or nearby. It, it's, like, it's just, it was cool to get that, like, instant feedback. Of, like, oh, people, like, local people are into the show. That's awesome. Um, so I'd have to say Covington. Our final question is right here on the left. If you weren't actors, who would you be? Ooh. Mine's changed over time. I always thought I'd be like a lawyer. And then, and then now, like, <laughs> this is going to be bad, I know. But I'm like, these YouTube kids are making all kinds of money. And I don't poo-poo it anymore. Should have been a YouTuber. Yep. TikTok influencer. TikTok. With a water bottle. Sign line. me up. And a lip gloss. Um, I grew up really close to the ocean and surfed all my life growing up. And so I really wanted to be a marine biologist when I was young. And I've always loved ocean and ocean conservation. So if I wasn't an actor or going into that field, I would have absolutely gone in that direction. Well, there's still time. You could still be a marine biologist. You could still make it on YouTube. You know? Tyler, yeah, I might start a channel. You know what? Would we I might subscribe just go to his YouTube it. channel? I'd watch it. There you go. Would you smash that like button? <laughs> they okay. do say that, smash that like button. <laughs> well, you guys, you've been so amazing, and I know that this means so much to our fans here that you took the time for us today, but we'll go down the line. Uh, any final words and anything you want to promote that you're doing, any upcoming projects? Oh, goodness. Um, I, I have to say that uh, I just thanks everybody for coming out here and celebrating us and um, being here for everybody else too that is uh, from different television shows and um, just thankful, grateful to be here, to see you all and for uh, all of us to still be hanging out. Yeah, thank you guys for having us. This is so much fun. Come say hello if you haven't already. We're all at the signing booths hanging out and uh, can't wait to do this again tomorrow. It's going to be great. Yeah, it is really fun to see you guys, so please come up and say hi, because it's just so nice to meet you face-to-face, -face. and thanks for coming to the Q&A. Clearly, there was such a great turnout. We love you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, so guys. Thank you. Thank you so much.